our next caller is Mike from the UK. Hey, Mike, how can we help you? Hi there, guys. Um, first of all, thanks for the show. Real, uh, real font of information and, and challenging as well. Don't agree with everything you say, but it's, it's a fantastic show to listen to. <laughs> uh, so distance runner, I'm a distance runner. I've been running distance for 10, 15 years. Um, and I'm not getting any, any younger. want to get a bit stronger. Frankly, want to look a little bit better. Nobody's ever looked at a long distance runner and gone, God, they look good. Um, <laughs> so... Um, I've, I've, at least I've you're self-aware. <laughs> <laughs> Your good. I, I purchased, I purchased performance and anabolic, um, but I'm almost a little bit nervous to start. You know, I, I still enjoy running. I don't want to stop it completely, mm. but just want to structure it right when I get into it. Now everything's shut over here. Gyms are completely locked down. So just kind of beginning to kind of plan for when they reopen, just kind of a bit of advice on how, how to mix a bit of running with, you know, performance and anabolic. Mike, how much how much are you currently running right now per week? Um, probably doing about, you know, it's, it's 20 to 25 miles, uh, five, five, six runs a week. Mm. Um, are you, you know, with, with a few? Are you, are you trying to, are you trying to keep that high of a frequency up while also programming? Or are you asking what we think is a good suggestion if you want to still run a little bit, but also run one of the programs? Yeah, yeah, a, a, a good suggestion actually. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to pair it back because you know I want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm doing the, the program justice. So personally, I would love to see you run Maps Performance and then run on your mobility day. So you would do mobility work and then go take off for your run on the mobility days, and you could do that three days a week. So you could lift three days a week on the foundational workouts and then three days of mobility work before you go off on a run. To, if you were my client and you, I was trying to compromise how much you like to run, but then also try and program well for you, that's what it lo would look like for yeah. me. I'll, I'll get a little bit more specific even, Mike. Uh, I, I would go, uh, it, if you're going to run 10 miles a week, then I could I would do two days of, uh, of resistance training, the, the foundational workouts and performance. If you're going to go 15 miles or more a week, then I would break it down to one. Um, when you throw in a lot of resistance training, two, three days a week, plus 15 plus miles of running, for most people, it just becomes way too much and you end up getting negative uh, returns. But if you're doing about 10 miles a week, uh, which is less than half of what you're doing, and you include two days a week of resistance training, you may actually find that you get a little faster. Um, and mm -hmm. I've actually experienced this with some of the distance runners that I've trained. Again, if you go up to 15 miles or more, then one day a week of resistance training will be plenty and you'll still get some benefit from the resistance training. Oh, no, that's fantastic. Um, and kind of getting back into it, I, I bought Starter as well. Would that be a good one to just get back into it as the gyms have been shut for bloody months now? Um, would it be worth kind of launch straight into performance or, you know, just kind of get into it with, with map starter? No, great. I'm glad you, you did that. Um, because you're, you haven't done any resistance training, start with, uh, start with map starter. That's fantastic. Brilliant. No, really appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Yeah. No, no problem. Yeah, great question. And it's Sal who you mostly disagree with, right? <laughs> I, I, I've, got to, I've got to say, we, we, we've had a few spiky conversations on Instagram, but, you know, it, it, if I agreed with everything, it'd be a boring show to listen to. Yeah, you know? no, yeah. <laughs> I don't agree with half as shit he says, so don't yeah. worry. It's totally it, normal. Oh, <laughs> and, and the best bit, it, it's whoosh the sheer sauce. Finally, that's been corrected. Thank you. Hey, 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 at least you got that amazing accent. Don't worry about looking like a long distance runner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you got you guys. You guys look good. I sound good, but we'll keep it at that. So, uh, <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, Mike. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank hey, you very cheers. much. Cheers. I fucking love everybody in the UK. I swear to God, yeah, they they're some of our of favorite listeners. I, yeah, they do have a good sense of humor. Yeah, man. They, yeah, I feel like the people people in the US. I think we're so goddamn sensitive. Yeah, you're dude. right, Way too sensitive. Right, yeah, yeah, you're right. totally right. Right, we were like overly sensitive over there. Them, you could talk shit to them, and they give it right back. Dude, one of my best yeah. friends was from the UK, Bav, and he would just we would rip each other, and it was just a good. time. I love that. It was dude. a good time. You know, I I, lo I love his question because uh, you know if you do run a lot. First off, resistance training has tremendous benefit for any athletic endeavor. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to provide more stability. Of course, strength is the foundational physical pursuit, meaning if you increase your strength, you're going to get better at pretty much everything else, right? So if I improve, if you improve your strength, your endurance is going to go up, your stamina is going to go up, your stability is going to go up, your balance is going to go up. But there's always the problem of how much can I include along with my training because at yeah. some point you overdo it. When you're running a lot, you know, I've trained quite a few marathon runners and triathletes. 
I have them resistance train usually once a week. That's mm-hmm. it. And we're doing very basic stuff, and we're not overdoing it. It's to support you, yes. you know their priorities, and that's really what you have to identify from the beginning is like what is the real goal. Like if you want to use resistance training to, uh, you know, beef up and support the strength that goes into the running, because uh, you know, that's where you want to be the most. That's what we have to structure. You have to be very realistic with your goals too. I mean, you you have to understand that if you want to start to build muscle and change the way your body looks you are going to get worse at running. Mm-hmm. That's just coming. That yeah. says you have to accept that. And it's just how how much are you willing to give up of that for the, the look that you're trying to obtain? Or I really don't care that much about the look. I just want to get stronger to complement my running. Totally different. Totally. If you're telling me that, oh, and that's where I think what you suggested was great, Sal, one day a week because you're still, your main focus is running. I want to be a good runner, but I also see the benefits of strength training. But you're not going to change your, if you're running, 20 plus miles a week and you're only strength training, you're not going to change your body radically. You're not going to be all of a sudden this buff runner. Mm. You're going to be mobile, more mobile. You're going to be stronger, but your running is still going to be great. So you have to understand what your actual goal is and what you really want to accomplish from it and then be okay yeah. with it's. A, you get, there's a give and take. It's funny too. I had one client who was a marathon runner and her, her goal was to qualify for the New York uh, marathon, you know, one of the bigger ones. And I, I forgot what time she had to get in another marathon in order to qualify. So, and she was running a lot every single week. We actually reduced her running down. I think she was running even leading up to the marathon, 15 miles, I believe was the max, so that we could make uh, time for strength training. And Mm -hmm. she got faster. Mm -hmm. And a lot of marathon runners make the mistake of just running more and more and more and more to get better at a marathon when oftentimes it's too much. They bring it down just a little bit, strengthen their body, and they actually see an improvement in performance. 